a real character. They make us laugh. Loving and loyal. He's just such fun. Such a cool mate. Adorable and beautiful. You just get so much love back. If I could get rid of one of the children, I'd have another one tomorrow. Somewhere out there, there is definitely the perfect retired racing greyhound for you. And the Retired Greyhound Trust can help you find your dog. Whether you're young or not so young, incredibly active or take life a bit slower, whether you live alone or with a partner or have children or other animals, or whether you have particular needs, there's just the right dog who wants to make your home his home, who really wants your companionship, and who, in return will give you his, and a lot, lot more besides. As a breed, greyhounds love people, and because retired racing greyhounds have been handled by people since their earliest days as puppies, they're so easy to look after. They're also wonderfully clean dogs. They hardly shed any fur, and they don't slobber. And this is, of course, especially important to families with children. And because you're taking on an adult dog who's through that destructive puppy stage, you're very unlikely to have your home chewed or messed up. But the sofas might well get commandeered. Welcome to the fastest couch potato on the planet. Forget the myths, because they are just that, myths. For a start, greyhounds are not aggressive. These gentle, intuitive, sensitive and loving dogs just want to be part of a pack. And that pack can contain cats, other dogs, small or large and of any breed, rabbits, guinea pigs, you name it, greyhounds don't mind. But humans are without doubt top of their list of favourite companions. And greyhounds do not need lots of exercise, that's another myth. Yes, they can reach the most amazing speeds, but it's all about short bursts followed by very long rests. And that's what this is all about. Giving a home to a dog who has earned his rest, and who will make a wonderful, loyal and loving companion. And just a couple of 20-minute walks a day will do him fine. For more than a thousand years, and originally bred to hunt, which they do by sight rather than scent, greyhounds have astonished humans with their speed, and especially with their acceleration. Amongst the fastest animals on the planet, Greyhounds can reach speeds in excess of 40 miles an hour from standing in about only four seconds. These dogs bring huge pleasure to people in their millions all around the globe. Racegoers, punters, bookies, trainers and owners alike and are at the centre of a major industry. They love racing and they give their all. But when age or injury slow them down or stop them doing it, their future can be uncertain. It's estimated that 9,000 racing greyhounds retire every year in the UK alone, and all they want is a home. And that's where you could come in, and the Retired Greyhound Trust can find just the right dog for you. It's many people's view that a dog changes a house into a home, and since 1974, the Retired Greyhound Trust, or RGT, has been very successfully finding just the right dogs for a huge range of home situations. This family, for example, contains two retired racing greyhounds, Liam and Dave, and three children who can be very boisterous. Like all greyhounds, Liam and Dave enjoy their rest, which they get with parents Henrietta and Ian, but they also love playtime. By responding in just the right way to humans of all ages, greyhounds make the perfect family pet. And it's by no means just Liam and Dave's owners who think this. They have a, an incredibly placid nature. Uh, there's absolutely no malice in any greyhound I've ever met. And uh, I would honestly recommend them as a, as a pet. If ever anyone questioned whether there really is a greyhound to suit any situation, Dave and Sarah's home answers it. Their two greyhounds, the old man Ken and the much younger and rather flirty Kaifi, live with 11 cats, an old border collie and two guinea pigs, not to mention the children. Kian, Dave and Sarah's son, has medical conditions which mean that an absolutely clean and healthy environment is essential, and that makes the non-slobbering and hardly molting nature of the greyhounds very important. 
The dogs also help Kian in a number of other ways, which demonstrate their intuitive sensitivity and their empathy with human companions. Kian's learnt to stroke. He's actually, we use the dogs as part of his hand function physiotherapy because they are a very patient and very loving and tolerant animal. They are more content to lie next to him and allow him the time to spread his hands out and to move through their fur. They are perfect, they really are. There's nothing but love in them. It's not just their empathy and rapport with humans of all ages that make greyhounds such good family pets. They're also very adaptable and will settle very happily into any home. This, for example, is Trigger, who lives with Narinda and Steve. Now, they both work full-time, but this causes no problem whatsoever as far as having Trigger as a family member is concerned. Nor does it for parents, Jay and Melissa, who also work full-time, or sons, Montel and Darcy, who are at school all day. Spike is their family dog, and Jay was very clear about why he chose a retired racing greyhound. I wanted a dog that didn't chew the house to death while I was at work. Um, it's quite laid back, very easy to keep, and, and really affectionate as well. And for Melissa, Darcy and Montel, Spike has other rather special qualities. When I've had a rubbish day at work, he comes to the door and he just gives me that much love and attention. and just makes me feel a bit special. It makes me feel happy and warm. He's just really stupid. Living with Bob and Margaret, retired racer Sam has a much quieter life than the dogs we've seen so far, but he's clearly loving every second of it. His pack mates are three cats and Henry, the rather inquisitive Tibetan terrier. This relationship is a terrific example both of the RGT's ability to match dog and owners so well and of Greyhound's intuitive instinct to work out your lifestyle and to fit in. A retired greyhound has a quality that we've never found in any other dog. They have such a calming influence. We've just fallen in love with them and uh, they're almost spiritual. We've described it as really swimming with dolphins. It's an experience that you just don't get anywhere else. Nothing demonstrates that calm quality more clearly than the popularity of retired racing greyhounds as pet or pets as therapy dogs. The therapeutic effects of animals have been used in healthcare for a lot longer than people realise. In fact, for almost two centuries. And greyhounds are very much in demand for this work. You only have to see a greyhound in action as a pat dog, like Dino here, to realise just how much sensitivity they have. Dino's regular visit is the highlight of Sydney's week, and he's just one of many hundreds of people who benefit from this very special bond. Of course, if it's a high-energy dog you want, that's no problem either. Kate Damon is a keen cross-country runner, and she wanted a dog that could share her hobby with her. So the RGT found her Sky, and it's been a match made in heaven. Sky has adapted his running to suit Kate, exchanging his natural speed and acceleration for long-distance stamina. And he clearly loves what is now his hobby too. Sky is also living proof that you can teach an adult dog new tricks. Starting with basic training lessons, not because Sky was in any way difficult, but because Kate quickly realised that he wanted to know what was expected of him, they moved on to advanced classes and have had huge success. Sky is obviously very proud of his skills and really happy that he understands so much. And that's typical of greyhounds, they want to please you. Now, even though not everyone will aspire to the high training levels that Kate and Sky have achieved, taking a new dog to training classes is probably going to be very useful to all owners. For many people, retirement is the first opportunity to really indulge in their hobbies, and a retired racer can be the perfect companion. Now in his 70s, Derek Grimmett loves getting around and seeing new places. The actual travelling is part of his enjoyment, which has been increased hugely by the companionship he gets from his retired racing greyhound, Ty. Ty obviously brings considerable happiness into this home. He's laid back, um, and we're slow because we're elderly, uh, and he goes at our pace. Uh, he's a great companion, he's a pleasure to feed, uh, and he's interesting and he makes us laugh. So how does the Retired Greyhound Trust achieve these really successful matches, and what exactly does it do? Sari Pierce, who runs the RGT's Rugby and Coventry branch, 
has been working professionally with greyhounds for more than 30 years, and Ruth Boswell runs the Perry Bar Branch in Birmingham. Sari and Ruth are just two of the experts from the RGT's 70 branches around the country, and they play a vital role in delivering the organisation's service on a day-to-day basis. Their experience is invaluable. When people come to look at greyhounds, it's quite clear which dog is the right dog. Very often the dog picks them. And you'd only show people dogs that would fit in with their lifestyle. So you need to know what sort of working hours and routines they have, how many children, whether they like to go out as a family and do lots of walking, whether they're couch potato types of people who don't want to do that. Do they want to take their dog on holiday frequently? So once you've done that, you can show them dogs who you think will fit the bill and then you can see the interaction between them. We ensure that every dog that goes from here is neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, flea treated and wormed. They've had a full dental as well and a health checkup. Come with a collar lead muslin bowl, four weeks free insurance and a training club voucher. Okay, this is your adoption pack and in there you've got your new owner letter which uh, covers all the things you should need to know about home in Biscuit. You've also got his microchip registration, his pet plant cover note and your adoption agreement. You've also got his vaccination card. Okay, so I'll pop that in. Right. When we do a rehoming, we go through everything that a greyhound owner should need to know. So how to use the muzzle, how to feed them, how to groom them. So the new owner's prepared. I think that's brilliant that everything is done for you. And it's also brilliant as well to know that there's somebody on the end of the telephone mm. if you've got any cares or worries or, you know, there's always going to be somebody Absolutely. there to help. Good luck. Let me know if you've got any problems. Thank you very much indeed. we Will do. Getting a retired racing greyhound to settle into your home is normally very straightforward and trouble-free. What you might call rules are few and far between. They're obvious and very easy to put into action. For a start, it is of course a legal requirement that your dog wears an identity tag at all times. Secondly, and although greyhounds are immensely trustworthy and gentle, as with any breed, you should never leave a dog alone with a child. Also, the RGT strongly recommends that on the first few occasions that you take your new dog out, you keep him on a lead until you're sure of how he's going to behave. And also, keep him muzzled until you know what his reactions are going to be, especially to other animals. Don't forget that although greyhounds are a really sociable and gentle breed, chasing animals, especially little ones that dart out, is in their blood. Having said that, and as we've already seen, many greyhounds live very happily with other animals. Understandably, it's cat owners who raise concerns most often. But if you are a cat owner, you really don't need to worry. The RGT tests retiring racers who show the potential to be cat-friendly to see what their reactions are, and will only suggest a dog for you that they are sure is likely to settle down with your cat without any problem. So, is there really just the right dog for any situation? Well, Lewis is having a very happy retirement cruising the waterways of the UK in the home he shares with Steve and Jill. And this is perhaps one of the best examples of just how adaptable greyhounds are and how there really will be a dog to suit your circumstances. Remember that these dogs need just two 20-minute walks a day and Lewis gets his exercise when the family moors. The rest of the time, he's quite happy to spend pottering around the boat. And there surely can't be a better example of how a greyhound will fit any space, however compact. As Steve puts it, They fold up pretty small. Although Lewis now lives on a canal boat, he's a great example of what easygoing travellers these dogs are. They were, after all, regularly driven to tracks in their racing days and so are used to hopping in and out of vehicles. This is obviously very important to greyhound owners who move around a lot. The dogs just settle down quietly for the journey and the large majority will take even very long trips in their stride. As always, as long as they're with you, they'll be happy. This, of course, makes them great holiday companions, and many owners say that they make holidays even more special. P. 
People whose holiday preferences don't accommodate taking their dog away with them don't need to worry. Kenneling is something that retired racers are naturally very, very used to. Have a nice time, Leah. After all, all their working lives were spent in kennels. Though obviously they'd prefer to be jetting off with their owners, they will trot off obediently, settle down and wait patiently for their family's return. Apart from the myth that they're aggressive and need lots of exercise, there are two other misconceptions about retired racing greyhounds. Misconceptions about their eating and their grooming. Well, for a start, they are not fussy eaters who need a special diet. Like all breeds, they love food and won't turn their noses up at anything. But the kind of feeding routine these dogs need is very simple. And if you use specific greyhound food, it's not expensive because currently VAT is not applied to food specifically for greyhounds. A regular and simple feeding routine will play a big part in keeping your dog fit, healthy, happy and shapely in his retirement. And secondly, even though these dogs have a very long pedigree, they don't require special, difficult or time-consuming grooming. Simple processes are all that are needed to keep your dog in good condition. And because retired racers have been handled by people since puppyhood, they're wonderfully easy to groom. They'll pretty much let you do anything without resisting. The regular grooming needed to maintain your retired racer in good condition is very easy to carry out. And the RGT will of course show you what to do. Your branch can also supply a DVD called Caring for Your Dog, which covers all aspects of keeping your pet healthy and happy. Like training, this is a wonderful bonding activity between you and your dog, something you'll enjoy doing and he'll love having done. A retired racing greyhound is a simple dog with, as we've heard, characteristics and attributes that include being loving, loyal, safe and trustworthy, providing great companionship, being devoted, gentle, intuitive and sensitive, as well as being fun and cool, being adorable and beautiful, and demonstrating extraordinary empathy with people of all ages, from tiny babies upwards. There are many, many thousands of owners of retired racing greyhounds, but don't forget that there are also many thousands of these lovable dogs looking for a home. The owners represent all age groups and they live in the widest possible range of circumstances, but each of their dogs will have his own unique and endearing character. Those thousands of owners will all tell you that adopting their dog was one of the best things they've ever done because of what he does and what he is. They make our home complete. A true best friend. The Retired Greyhound Trust can without doubt find the right dog for you and it really won't be far to your nearest branch. All the information you need is on our website www.retiredgreyhounds.co.uk that's www.retiredgreyhounds.co.uk or call us on 0844 826 8424. That's 0844 826 8424. So please do get in touch with us and please give a dog a home. Mm -hmm.